Hey guys, welcome to Anne's vlog. Hi. Remember, oh. like, and no, I've gone back to the ending here. <laughs> <laughs> like and subscribe. Here we are, another vlog, another week in the life of Aaron. Aaron's not present. He's passed out in a bin. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll get him home safe. Inshallah. <laughs> Peace out. Peace out. <laughs> we do one of these because then it's good, good for editing. Max can be in the vlog. I'm, I'm gonna let Max be in the vlog if he stopped acting like this. You would never see what happens. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I'm about I'm about to do the really toxic thing I've started doing where I don't want to vlog, so Max I just give my phone to other Italics. people. Here you go, Kian. Are you you're not um, giving it to me? No, you're not giving it to me. Right, so um, <laughs> village, <laughs> very good night. We've uh, been through some. Tra worry, traumatic blah, blah. experiences. Trauma. Okay, that's not going in. No! It's it's Hi vlog, I'm gonna bleep everything I'm about to say, but basically today <laughs> But I'm not putting that in the vlog, so everything I just said was bleep. She's having friendly drinks because we're all really happy and that's what's happening. <laughs> is this your first appearance? This is my first is. This, this is Max yeah. this, this is Max with the italics. Hello vlog. How are we doing? What I wanna hear right now is right in the comments. You guys, don't say oh my god, it's fine. In the comments, you guys are gonna rate your mood out of 10, okay? You're gonna rate your mood out of 10. My mood out of 10 right now is rather low. I'm not gonna comment. However, <laughs> we love you lots, vlog. Izzy, what's yours out of 10? Izzy, my mother. An eight, and yeah, I'm like, I would say like a, like a seven. Yeah. I'll say mine. Mine's like a two. Okay. However, that's fair. However, vlog. All is not lost. <laughs> your your Archie will be back soon, better than ever. Love you all, vlog, and see you in the next episode. Aaron, back to you in studio. It's two in the morning. I got home from work today and passed out immediately after a very eventful day yesterday, and a fairly eventful day today. I'll talk to you more at length tomorrow. Um, but I'm doing okay. I'm just tired. A bit anxious today, but okay. But literally, all I've done today is sleep. So, I mean, work. I'll, I did a whole day at work, but I've been sleeping. So, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Hello, vlog. A quick moment of candidness while I put on a small amount of concealer to go to work because I look so tired. Although, I did just sleep 12 hours, so that's amazing. Um, yeah, I put I filmed that little vlog clip at 2 a.m. I don't know if I'm putting it in or including any of it because it probably was a bit random. But um, yeah, I just wasn't in the best way yesterday. I've been so busy. Um, last night was my first night of not doing anything in nine days, um, which is fine. But I think I think I've been prioritizing the wrong things, and I've not been prioritizing myself very much. And I think I get too bogged down in how good it feels to be social and busy, um, and then I don't focus on myself or my own well-being. So I am an extrovert, right, but I'm actually a recovered introvert because I used to be very different. Um, and I forget sometimes I actually do value, like, alone time. As I was saying, I value alone time. Um, so when I don't have it, it, like, takes me back to that headspace where I, like, start shutting down. So I was really anxious yesterday. Uh, I wasn't in the best way. I feel a lot better today after sleeping. I take it very seriously to not be in the habit of lying on social media, so I don't want to just be on the vlog like, tee hee, everything's great. Everything has been good. There are things in my life that are going really, really well. Um, so it's not like I'm sad, but I am a little overwhelmed, um, which is fine. It happens. Hi vlog, let's do something I don't really ever do because um, it makes me feel a bit icky because of gender stuff, but let's talk about clothes. I don't know if it's evident, but I'm a Keith Haring girly. I am the Keith Haring girly. Personally, Keith Haring, I think, is the sickest artist. If you don't know, obviously, all of these sort of prints, all of these sort of graphic designs, you'll see them everywhere. It's Keith Haring, he's an artist from the 80s. These are the prints that make it onto clothing, but he also did a lot of art relating to the AIDS crisis, and he was a queer man, and uh, he did a lot of art relating to the AIDS crisis and safe sex to try and save, sort of, the community of queer people and artists we were losing. He eventually passed from AIDS, um, and he's such a beautiful example of like the important history of like visionary artists that we have behind us in a legacy that we need to continue to honour now. So I feel very strongly about my love for Keith Haring, but I don't have any Keith Haring jeans, or I didn't. These aren't jeans. Uh, this is what I 
previously owned. These are like pajama bottoms. I can't wear them out really. They're nice, they're comfy, but they're just not for like outdoor wear. Today though. I have Keith Haring jeans. I have Keith Haring. These are Keith Haring X Tommy Hilfiger. Um, they're so beautiful. Oh my God. Let me put them on for you. Let me put them on for you. So this is the sitch. I mean, one second, I'm gonna have to tilt you down. This is the sitch. These are so unbelievably sick. Like, oh my God. I feel so happy about this purchase, man. So yes, this is the clothing purchase of the day. It's very exciting. If you ask me, it's totally reasonable of me to have such an obsession with Keith Haring because the, the art style is so good. The history is so important to me and um, I love these jeans. I love them. Also, I'm gonna edit the absolute life out of that clip I filmed this morning. I just watched it back. It is so impossibly doom and gloom. I was tired and obviously still feeling a little. What I meant to say was, like what I'm getting at is, I'm really burnt out. Like I'm super burnt out at the minute. Or I was um, yesterday, more than anything. And I'm sort of like getting back on the horse today. Um, I just had a wobbly start to my week. And also, I think I was trying to say, is like, I used to have a really, really bad relationship with lying on social media. Like when I was at Oxford University for those three years and having like the worst mental health of my entire life, I was just using like social media to just lie. Like put up these pictures and snaps, Instagram stories and Snapchat stories, like I was having the best time. And my mental health was just in the pits. So I'm just not in the habit of doing that anymore. I've worked way too hard to lie on social media. So I don't wanna get on the vlog and pretend I've not had off days. Do you know what I mean? Like, I've done it in the past. I've shown you guys the truth in the past. So I'm going to continue to do that. Um, so I had a wobbly start to my week, but I'm feeling really good. Um, what have I done this evening? Oh, I watched Anthony Padilla's hour-long video um, about them buying Smosh back. So that was sick. <laughs> and yeah, um, I stopped. Uh, yeah, I worked all day today. I had a really good day at work. Um, a busy one. It was mental. Um, it vibes were all over the place. But it's so satisfying to work in social media now because I get to just like work creatively pretty much all day and like have an idea and then fulfill it and like film and edit and content create like full time. And it's so very fulfilling. Um, so that's amazing. I stopped by Waterstones, got something I needed to buy, saw all my friends from my old place of work, which was really nice. I'm going to Grace's Leaving Drinks on Friday, so obviously I'll see them all there. But that was really nice. And I'm working tomorrow, and I have no plans, because I'm being self-kind. It cut out because my phone storage is on its last legs, but as I was saying, I'm being self-kind. I have not been prioritising myself the way I want to be, and I'm going to be focusing up on self-care, my creative outlets that I've been working on, my novel, my poetry, etc. So there's a lot more stuff like that coming for the vlogs, and a lot less of me overstretching, which we love to see, self-care era, right? Right? After a very eventful but satisfying day at work, I sat in a pub and did some reading on something a friend wrote, and then I waited in the least attractive area of Leeds to get my hair cut because I'm getting rid of the bleach blonde. That's right, vlog. I have no hair. I mean, no, I have hair. I don't know what our voice over that last clip, but essentially, yeah, I wanted to get rid of the bleach. I'm sick of it. It's not very practical. I don't feel like it was very healthy for my hair. So I've gone back to my actual hair colour to like, like grow and do its thing. So this is where I'm at right now. It's very short, but I actually think it's like fine. Like it suits me. I don't think it's bad by any means. It's a change. Be nice in the comments. Be nice. <laughs> I have to premiere this new hair tomorrow. Grace is leaving thing. So I hope everyone doesn't hate it or I'll, um, well, I'll cry. Yeah, I'll cry my makeup off, so <laughs> we'll see. But yeah, I actually don't, I think I look fine. I think it makes me look younger having short hair, which is always a bit bizarre. I think I look like a baby. So anyways, I'm off in the bath. Hello vlog. I look like a completely different person today. Slay, I'm in my Keith Haring jeans. Keith Haring jeans. Um, and it's Grace's leaving thing tonight. I did a morning of work, taking the afternoon off because I'm in work tomorrow. Um, but yeah, that's that's how I'm looking. I actually look, to be fair, now that I'm seeing on camera, I'm sold on this makeup look a little bit. The thing is, because all the colours in this outfit were neutrals, I was like, I don't know what colour to do on my eyes. And I did a brown eye look and I hated it. So this is what we're settling on. But I think it looks nice. I think purple's very flattering. Anyways. Imagine we're at McDonald's and Chihuahua's just holding just Grace's out. Because we did a trade. <laughs> we, they did a trade. We did. Baby Guinness vlog. Solomon's <laughs> vlog. Hi. Solomon's two and a half minute monologue in last week's vlog is my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> Let me alone with the camera. I, d I actually didn't watch it until I edited it. It was the really? best. It was the best. Actually, thing. Yeah. I didn't watch it until I edited it. It was the best thing I've ever oh seen. God. You didn't even so edit it. You just put the whole thing in. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. Here we are again. Good to see you. Spuds, one of them, bang. I'm gonna vlog, it's not mine. 
It's not my vlog. You have anything to say? Yeah, so many things. I Go on. Do. I don't take up taxidermy as a professional career. I yeah. agree. It's but disturbing. But if you do, do not bring it home with you. Women don't like that. I speak for us all. <laughs> yeah. One thing I've learned, never bring home a, a dead cat <laughs> and then, you know, stuff it. That's How weird. did you learn it? How did I learn it? <laughs> <laughs> Trial and error. You. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Zing! One of them. <laughs> I, this is Aaron's vlog, it's not my vlog. Okay, well that's probably for the best. I don't think we're going to make the final cut, I'll be honest. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, we made it last time. Do you reckon we'll get edited out? Of course you made it. <laughs> okay. Uh, here we are, Edwardian house behind, doing it large. Yeah, that's beautiful actually. Do you want to tell us a little bit about the history of the building? Well, the building has been here for as long as I know it. Yep. <laughs> so at least six months. <laughs> six that's all I know. Historic. Historic, wow. wow. Such history. Look at that. Such history in such a building. <laughs> And then they installed those columns. Columns? <laughs> it's like, hello. hello? Overkill. Hat on a hat. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Hang on a minute. You're mixing. <laughs> Hang on. Tudor. Et neoclassic. Not on my watch. No. Savapat. Sa <laughs> Sa Hang on. Uh, what's a. What's a. What's a. Uh, this is all I can. I, can uh, I can't offer a word because I don't know it. I can okay. offer a facial expression. Is it? Uh, I'm scared. It's, hang on a minute. Oh. Bewilderment. Bewilderment. Flabbergasted. Flabbergasted. Oh, you get it. Look at that, we're doing synonyms. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the vlog needs. Sorry, are you a thesaurus? Someone's got to swallow them synonyms, <laughs> like cinnamon on a cinnabun. <laughs> oh. And now a wrap to finish it wrap. off. Sponsor us. Sponsor us. Thank you so much. Hi, I'm Elizabeth. Elizabeth is here. Elizabeth, what are you studying? I do, I'm doing a PhD in French and Comparative Literature. What, in what? French and Comparative Literature. What kind of French literature? Um, um, Shout out my boy Andre Breton. Yeah, he's my boy. He's not in there, I'm afraid. Ah. Um, I'm sorry, I, like, I, there's a whole like section of time that I don't deal Patrick with. Patrick Modano? Uh, Modiano's not in there. Modiano, but, um, there's an I in there. I do, <laughs> I have read. Yeah, no, this, 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 this is how you make you guarantee you make the thing. You do the you do the uh, the sign off. Yeah. Did you ever see that thing on Twitter, which was like, what is the thing that you rationally think you'd be really good at against all odds? Yes. What's yours? Uh, fighting wolves. <laughs> <laughs> I really did. I thought I could fight a wolf, and then I saw the grey, Liam Neeson, and, he, and I was like, give me give me um give me small bottles of alcohol. And it'll be game over for them wolves. Yeah. Give me a, a give me an American grey wolf. It's game over. It's game over. So you could several fight of wolves. them. Ah, one of them. I'll take them all on. Nah. Well, that's impressive to be honest. What a what a there shout. It is. And we're gonna do that welcoming as well. So you okay. got you got double whammy. My thing would be if I the thing I rationally believe about myself is that I would survive a plane crash if it was over the sea. Just just jump off the side before they land. Well, yeah, and I just believe that like I could float around in the sea for long enough that I would make it. Here's my thing: you'd stop, you 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 bought all the oxygen, yeah. you sink. So breathing all the oxygen, <laughs> you're gonna be right at the top. Yeah. Wear an orange shirt every time you fly; yeah. they'll see you from a mile away. That's all. Yeah. <laughs> Round two. Oh, he's still he's he's, he's still going. Yeah. Hi, yeah. my vlog. Hello vlog. Here he is, cameo. It's literally Wait, my own vlog. Good morning vlog. No. This is my no. last vlog update because no. I am leaving for Greece. Hey, do you want to be in the vlog? Just make it again. I'm quitting this job. It doesn't matter. Yeah, Grace left Waterstones. I did. Waterstones is. He was at Waterstones. Okay, we're not I won't bleep it this time. Okay. No, I won't finish my sentence. Okay, okay, that's fine. <laughs> Hi vlog, it's me again, yeah, the actual yeah, creator of this vlog. Um, I'm having a great night. Everyone's having a really good night. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, <laughs> Solomon's here. I'm gonna pan the camera this way to avoid Natalie because Nat doesn't like being in a vlog. Oh, I'm not drunk for once. Hey. And then Nat, Nat hand. Nat hand reveal. Yeah, that's it, that's it. Natalie's hand. Woo! Oh. That's Natalie's other hand. <laughs> no. Here's the thing. Oh my god. Back, <laughs> back to Solomon and Here's my qualm. His qualm. Say something funny, magic man. <laughs> Do something funny. He's like, Sol kick him. Solomon, be funny. Solomon, be funny. Caught just that to give the bad news. So here's, a, here's a magic trick. Wait, how do you. Maybe. I know what he said. Right. How do you do it? Uh, the children did die. Sorry about that. Okay. That's enough. That is enough. You know, so I mean, like, the jester would give the bad news. 
so you can do a fun magic trick to distract So Solomon's the court jester and he's also being mean. Yeah, that's that's, that's what you? Your children died. No, you do, you do the shit sandwich. You hit one of these. Listen, I think you're great. The only problem is your children died, but I think you're great. There it is. Good news, bad news, good news. Okay. There it is. I need the vlog to know. I love this boy a lot, but my god, is he a maniac. That's a maniac. This is my final vlog with vlog because <laughs> Aaron left half that drink. Um, I think we've got everything. Okay, hello vlog. So, I'm moving country, so this is truly my last vlog. Main vlog. Phoebe, do you want to be in the last vlog of vlogs? Um, I can't she's leaving. I'm not leaving. It, it's only a temporary little giggle. It's a gas, it's a poop. I, I'm just dogged, Aaron. This is my makeup to the vlog. Bleep. Bleep, 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 bleep. I'm going that way. Are you going that yeah. way? Are you Goodbye. Going that way? No. Love you. Bye bye. Love Where are you going, Yes. Say something. Oh, wait, no, no, wait. Before you do that. Uh, hi, vlog. We've had hi, the best vlog. night. Uh, Solomon talks. I'm going that way. Um. <laughs> oh my god. There isn't any. You are Solomon, you always have so many okay. words. I'm literally gone forever. I'll well, in my head right now is this is the lyrics for <laughs> Apple Blossom. So, so hey little yeah. apple blossom. <laughs> what <laughs> seems to be the problem? People are saying so you can't tell you troubles. Now Solomon do the hum thing. Yeah. Remember to like and subscribe. Yeah. Join the notification squad. Like I said, I was working today, but first I went to Black Sheep to do some writing at 8am. And look how cool the bathroom is, like the Mario art. Are you joking? I don't know. I've never actually been in this bathroom before. Kind of obsessed with that. Anyways. Hi, vlog. I've edited all of my book. <laughs> I've just finished the first pass at edits um, and the whole thing, which is very major and very time consuming and has wiped me out. But it's a very exciting moment because I've done all my edits on paper, as I'm, I've told you before. Um, I, edit it all, I edited it all on paper um, because I wanted to view it as a book rather than just like a file on my laptop. So I've not typed anything for this book into the into the file for about two months. So now that this is done, it means I can start like writing the book again, like go back to writing the actual book. So that's really, really exciting. Um, but my God, I'm exhausted. I also just cried at one of like the, one of my last chapters. I just cried at one of the resolution moments. And I was like, you know what? She ate with that one. The book also got substantially, be substantially better as it went on because I was like finding my voice and meeting the characters. So like the last half of the book was much easier to edit in the first half because I'm like more convinced by the second half, which means there's a lot of work to do to make it all match the same tone. But that's what's on the horizon. Um, what am I going to do for the rest of the day? Solomon just sent me some writing of his. So I'm going to sit and read some stuff he wrote and just chill probably. Uh, I might start typing this up later. I also might not. And I've got a really exciting and busy work week ahead. So that's fun. That's life. Hi vlog, I've not really moved from this spot since I filmed the last clip earlier today, but I've had a very, very chill day. I've been reading Sleeping on Island, The Life and Poetry by Andrew Motion, who is um, an ex-poet laureate. And obviously, I'm in my suffering artist era, as I keep saying. So I'm reading this book about uh, poetry and being a poet and being pretentious, because I love being pretentious. I've had a very good day. I've had a very eventful week. I am very tired after this week. I'm sort of excited to see the end of it. Um, but I have just been... <laughs> I have just been sat editing the vlog of the week because I realised there's a lot of footage. That vlog footage, oh my god, that vlog footage from Friday night, I need you to know, it's so chaotic what you've seen. Please know you're only seeing a third of what I have on my phone from that night because, girl, this new tactic I have to just hand the vlog camera to other people, it's incredible. I'm doing no work and I've learned this. Maybe it's just the sort of friends I have and the, I have so much love for them. Um, give them a camera, they'll talk. Give them a camera and they will talk. Um, so I'm about to <laughs> hand you over to the outro that Solomon, uh, Saad and Elizabeth filmed. All of, to all of my friends who've contributed to the vlog this week and to Solomon who is gonna uh, outro the vlog for me right now. Remember guys, like, subscribe, notifi notification squad. Right in the top corner. They're putting chemicals Bing, in the water. <laughs> <laughs> During the frogs game. The orcas are killing people. <laughs> Tell you what, those orcas, shout out my girl, what's her name? The orca that's killing everyone. Well, I think Jean or something. No, no, there's one that's te te teaching everyone in the Mediterranean. Don't go to the Mediterranean, because an orca will get you. At least by boat. Go at in a... Boat. Go, go by, by bike. <laughs> by foot, by bike. They'll let you pass. Get one of your fucking your sea bikes. I tell you what. And you'll buy. I tell you what.
those orcas, longer lifespan, they'd be in charge. <laughs> How long do they live? Uh, not long enough, tell you that much. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, sorry, how do you know that? Uh, Why do you know that? Just because uh, you're around to punch him No, that's just dad law waiting to happen right there. Killed an orca. <laughs> killed an orca. Uh, <laughs> killed I an wait, orca. I, no I invoke the fifth. I plead the fifth. Who kills the killer? I plead the fifth. <laughs> Who kills the killer? I plead the fifth. <laughs> I, plead the fifth. <laughs> I will not speak without a lawyer present. I signed, I signed an NDA. <laughs>